welcome. I haven't made one of these in a while, and um, I thought that I would just I would do one. We were I was supposed to go to movies this week with Tori, but I never got to go because and there were a few complications. But we're going this week. We'll have a review off for you. Um, but we're not sure what film we're going to see. It'll probably be Jennifer's Body, and I'm kind of happy I missed the opening night because I went to go see Sorority Row opening night, and there's a lot of like a lot of douchebags in the uh, theater, people screaming and everything. I'm trying to watch the movie, and, and a lot of people they just they don't act the greatest in the theater, but um, I thought I would do an update for you since I haven't done one. And I'm working on the short film. At the, at the moment, it's called uh, Necrocotics. The main premises of the film is just that uh, it's pretty much about a guy who just, um, he snorts, he's, it's a backstory and everything, but he snorts coke and it makes, starts turning him into a zombie from like this witch. I posted a scene, but uh, I'm not going to put it in my playlist because I'd rather you see the finished product. But um, anyway, the film that we're going to be doing um, today is... It's uh, from a son it's a Sonny Chiba film, and he's in it, but he's not in it for uh, he's not he's he's not the main star of it, which is odd, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. But um, it's Bullet Train, and it's in the name of this is it's the Sonny Chiba collection. It comes with uh, it comes with six Sonny Chiba films all together. Um, here's a here's a picture of the box. That's not, this is actually from GoGo13, that outfit. They just put the bodyguard poster behind them. Uh, and here's the box. This is actually a good set. It comes with a lot of good stuff in here. It's not just like a cheap box set, but the film we're viewing out of it is Bullet Train. Um, it's from 1975. And, and um, it's it actually it predates the film Speed by many, many years. And Speed uh, copied a lot from this film. Now I think Speed is overall a little bit better. It's a little more entertaining. This is a great film, but I think this film is a, a well put, it's better put together. It's not as a, uh, it's not like a straightforward action film. It's more of a dramatist, and I think Speed should have went that way too. They should have took some hints from this. Now and um, the guy who made this, his name is uh, Junior Sato, and the Sunny Cheap is not in it. The guy who's in his name is uh, Ken Takakura. And he made a couple movies with um, with the director. The other one I seen that he made, I'm trying to remember the name of it. It was an action film, but they made a lot together. But anyway, um, uh, it's pretty much about Sonny Chiba is a train driver. He he's a train operator. He drives his train, and he gets a call from a guy who tells them that there's a bomb on the train. And if they go past a certain speed, the bomb is going to blow up. If they go below it, like it's 80, whatever, whatever the speed is. If you go below 80, the train blows up, which is the same exact thing as speed with the bus. And uh, the thing about this film is it goes into the backstory. It goes into the backstory about the people setting it up uh, and the train. Now, the, this comes, this box set, it comes with the Japanese cut and the American cut. Japanese cut, of course, is dubbed the American. I will, of course, subtitle the American cut. This is of course dubbed, but uh, they cut almost an hour and a half out of the American version. And the reason I think they did this is because they cut the backstory out. This is pretty much two films put together. It's like an hour and a half about the people who are setting the thing up with the train, their backstory and everything. And then there's like an hour and a half with the train, and it's all mixed in. Of, and um, I think that I think the American version. I didn't watch it because I just I'd rather see the full uncut version than see the uh, American version, which is dubbed. And, um, and it, it probably takes place more with Sonny Chiba because he was more popular here. So what I'm thinking is is that it's more about the train. They cut a lot of the backstory out, which was the backstory was actually my favorite part. When they went about, like, the gangsters. Well, they're not gangsters. just like organized criminals, and it's a pretty good idea. The guy, like, owns, like, an electrical company who's doing it. So that's why he sets it up. And he's just, Sonny Chiba in the Japanese version, he's, he's in it for a little while, but he's not in it very long. But I think this is a great film. And um, it's way before, uh, it's way, way before Speed. This is 73. And um, Speed robbed a lot from me. There's a few scenes in here, like, remember, the scenes, there's a scene in Speed where the two bosses are next to each other transporting people off. Well, there's a scene in this film where they pull a train up next and they put the same exact, like, little board out that they do in that, but they're transporting tools over instead of people. But the, the idea is the same on this, and it's, like, the dilemmas that they have on the train it's like almost the same as that dilemmas that they have on the bus. And I think they shouldn't, they ripped this off bad speed. It, it ripped it off bad. But this is a good film and I recommend this. I'd recommend this if you're into Japanese, like Hong Kong films. Um, 
great movie. But uh, uh, the guy who made this, he also made Gogo 13, but it's not this 1977 Gogo 13, which has Sonny Chiba in it, which I actually like that a lot too. It's, it's he made the 1973 version, but Sonny Chiba has nothing to do with the 73 version of Gogo 13. Um, good film, check it out. And I hope to have some more reviews up for you. Um, I, like I said, we'll have the movie theater up. And if you like these videos, please subscribe. Try to get more subscribers. And thank you for watching this review. And um, keep watching. Thank you.